Good morning, everybody. In this episode, we'll handle colors and theme system. So let's get started. First of all, uh, since last episode, I uh, added these rules here uh, to Aslin because I was getting some issues and like the default configuration isn't what I really like. Uh, also, I have created a new page called UI where we will be experimenting with our UI system. So let's go there. Also, I created a new component called presentation section, and this is just something that we'll use to showcase our components on our page, just so we can see that everything is working fine. It's a simple title, a border, and a slot for our content. On the right side, we can see the browser. Uh, it is quite zoomed in, so you guys can see better. Uh, we may change that later. But um, yeah, I think that's all we did, really. So today, let's tackle the colors. In order to build pretty much anything, we need to know what colors we are going to use. And we are using Tailwind, which you know has a nice predefined set of colors. So for example, uh, you know we could do something like that. And we could uh, add our content here and add our color. And you know, we'll have our color tile here. However, this approach is great for you know simple apps, but when we want to have themes or you know dark system, there's a couple of approaches that we could use. First of all, Tablelink has a built-in dark mode support where you can prefix a class with dark, and then uh, you know you could add your class here, and then if you were to change the system preferences to the dark color, let me just do this. So yeah, the color wasn't changed because we are missing a Tailwind CSS configuration file. So uh, let us go to uh, Tailwind CSS Next plugin, and um, we can go to the config section, and we can copy the default configuration. So let us create a tailwind dot config dot js. Let us copy this thing here. And now let's add a toggle for the dark mode. Let's add a class here. So now if we go to our page and we add the dark class here, we can see that our tile is now red, which is exactly what we wanted. However, we are not going to use this system because we want to uh, you know, possibly have more than one theme uh, or even give user the ability to choose their own theme like Slack does. So we are going to use more generalized approach. And in order to do that, we are going to use uh, CSS variables. So uh, we can just extend the theme by colors and here we can define our colors. So for example, we can have a color of primary and we'll just uh, invoke the CSS variable. So we can have a primary color, we can have a primary accent. And let's create a new one for the page. Okay, so now that we have this, we can start using them in our UI components. So first of all, let us create a layouts directory. And this is something that Nuxt uses to handle nested pages and like the, the layout system. So they have this uh, component called Nuxt child. And now everything that's here, basically this, this default component, will be applied on every page unless we specify otherwise. So for example, now we can do something like BG you know, red 500, and we can see that it was applied to our page. However, we want to use BG page here. Okay, that's great. Let us see uh, that it's truly working. So we can see our BG page and it's uh, you know, pulling the, the color from this variable. 
However, this variable is not defined. So what do we do? Well, we can create a new styles directory. And here we can create a simple uh, team.css file. So in here, we could do something like this. Uh, so we could have like team light. And here, you know, our, uh, geez, how was it called? Let me just copy those actually. Okay, so now we can paste them, Jesus, here. And we can give them, you know, some uh, hex value to display on our page. Jeez, that's not how you write CSS. <laughs> that's how you do it. Okay. Uh, so the primary color, we could just do something like that. And so I think those are tailwind colors. And for the background page color, we, we are just going to use FFF for now. Let's create also team dark where, you know, we'll basically copy those colors, but um, we can do a different color for the background page. Uh, all right. So now what we'll see happening is that we, if we wrap this component in another div and uh, we give it a class, for example, team light, we can see that the background page is indeed white. If we change it to team dark, it won't work because we didn't import our CSS file. So let us do this. Um, Oh, and I, yeah, I didn't write CSS in a while. We shouldn't have those here. Uh, so let me just remove those. And now if we save this and reload the page, we can see that, you know, the colors are reflected. So now, uh, you know, for example, we may want to create like a team gray or something like that. And here, uh, you know, we would use a different background color in free, free, you know, maybe 777. Okay, let's go with something like that. And, you know, you can just simply do team uh, gray. And now it will be uh, in our place here. So that's how we build our teams. Uh, however, we won't be using the team gray, so let's just remove it. I was just using this as an example. Uh, we can use team light for now. And we probably should add more colors here. So, for example, uh, you may have a default color for uh, our text. We may have a muted color for our text. And for now, I think this will be enough. We'll be adding those as we go. We don't need to you know, define them all at once. Uh, so we'll just change the default color to something more reasonable. So let me just paste my colors here. And now, uh, if we go to our presentation section, um, we can, you know, add text color, text default here. And when we do this, uh, you know, we can see that the color was applied here. And if we change the theme to dark, we can see that it's using the, the brighter color. So uh, this is exactly what we want. And uh, now to you know finalize this episode, we may want to um, create something called color tile. And this will be a simple component that will um, simply show those uh, the colors that we have in our UI system. So let's, let's create a template. Here we can create a div with uh, flex item center. Um, and here we'll do, you know, like the age, eight, eight, border, border gray to hundred. We should probably create a color for that as well and then round it. And then we may want to have a label. So, uh, I'll just do like a small text, uh, text default and, um, can do something like label or color and here we'll accept color. 
Okay, and now let's accept our props. So we'll have one for label. Label will be of type string. It's not required. Uh, and let me just create one for color. Will be a string. It will be required. And we need to add a default value here, which can be just an empty string or a null. Wait, I think there is a nullable. Maybe. I'm not sure. But uh, we can definitely set a default to an empty string. And now if we go to our UI components, we can add our tiles. So let us remove this and let's import the color tile. We can just pass a color here. So, you know, BG page. BG primary. BG accent, BG uh, default, and BG muted. And that looks fine, I guess. Uh, let us just add some spacing here. Uh, space X4. So now we can see that when we change the theme from light to dark, those colors will change as well. However, our accent is... Okay, right, it's called primary accent, not accent, primary accent. Okay, so as the last thing, um, we are going to add the border color. Border here. Uh, border color, and then in our team we can add this as well. And now the only thing that we have to do is go to color tile and change this to border. Border isn't ideal, but you know it is what it is. Uh, we can go to our presentation section and change this to border, border. And the last thing that we need to do is add this to our UI. Here we can add PG border. Uh, last thing, small improvement, not really important. We can create a computed here that will create our uh, UI colors. Return our URI colors. Um, so here we can simply, uh, you know, copy our, our colors and just return them here. So we can do something like that. And here we can simply iterate over those colors. And uh, we also need to add an index here. So let's do that. Just, oh, it's called key, right? That's true, key equals index. We can save that. And we can see that we are getting the same thing, but then, you know, it's just easier to add another color here. And if we want to, uh, you know, it's auto reflects in our UI, which is always better.